Hi guys, it's Tamara coming back at you with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and jump into our next subject, which is going to be the five consequences of having to deal with trauma. And maybe I shouldn't use the word consequence. Maybe I should use the word after effects of trauma. All right, so we're going to talk about five and I'm going to jump into it right now. All right, so the benefits for you in this video is that you're going to be able to identify five very um, earth shattering and kind of um, life altering after effects of having to deal with trauma. Let me define what trauma is for you. All right. Trauma is any situation that has happened unexpectedly, repeatedly or not repeatedly, but unexpectedly um, that you don't have the resources or the emotional and psychological capacity to cope with. Right? A lot of us think of trauma as a car crash or being, a mil being in the military or um, you know, being a part of a burglary or some kind of a tragedy uh, involving fires or crime or violence. Some of us also think that trauma has a lot to do with um, major disasters like tornadoes and hurricanes and, for example, the Thailand boys being stuck in the cave, in the rescue cave. And while all of those situations are traumatizing, including our recent immigration of undocumented children in this in this country, it's all traumatizing, right? Because what happens is the body begins to actually break down. It begins to um, become submissive to the traumatic situation in such a way that the brain and the body stop interacting. And so the brain, you know, kind of, um, for lack of a better clinical term, it kind of internalizes all of the stress, all of the chaos, right, that has happened. And then the body begins to physiologically respond, right? It begins to physiologically respond in ways that isn't good, right? You get muscle tension, you get headaches all the time, maybe nausea, you're dizzy, you know, you feel like you have the flu all the time, right? So the body begins to respond in negative ways, okay? So let's talk about the five consequences or after effects of a traumatic situation. The first one is chronic and acute traumatic stress. What I mean by traumatic stress is the body goes through a very um, traumatic uh, experience, right? So you have the brain who's, who's not really which is not really processing the traumatic situation very well. Um, it's not, you know, adhering to any therapeutic tools. It's burned out, it's tired, it's done, right? And then the body is so disconnected from the brain that you're not able to really reason anymore. You're not able to tell yourself it's gonna be okay without your body just going haywire, right? So you're gonna have muscle tension. You're gonna have symptoms that might feel like the common cold or the flu. You're gonna have um, nausea and dizziness and headaches and, and other physiological experiences, increased heart rate, hot flashes, right? Shaking, tremors, all of those things um, happens in the body when you're going through acute or tr uh, chronic stress, I should say. Goodness. So acute traumatic stress is a short uh, duration of traumatic stress, meaning that because of the trauma, your body is going through this period of complete confusion and chaos for a short period of time. Chronic, of course, is the longer extended uh, times that the body is going through this period. When I say uh, uh, acute and chronic traumatic stress, I'm referring to fight or flight. The body automatically begins to believe that it's in fight or flight mode at all times. It doesn't have the capacity to separate situations and to say, okay, well, being in traffic right now and it's about 95 degrees outside and the sun is beaming down on my car and I'm getting really hot, that is a situation that I can eventually get out of. The, the brain and the body has no capacity to say, okay, I'm actually in this really bad traffic, but I'll get out of this. The body basically responds by increased heart rate, getting nervous, getting anxious, right? Not being able to really handle the pressure, you begin to break down, right? So, so the body has a hard time processing any situation that is, is, is discomforting. Okay, the next one, number two, is existential discomfort. That's a word that I made up to describe an individual. Um, and I really like this term because a lot of my clients are like, that is me. Um, existential discomfort is a term that describes an individual who is struggling with not only the ideas of life, but the dichotomies 
and the complexities of life in such a way that they begin to question their own existence. They begin to experience suicidal thoughts. They begin to experience doubts and fears and, and increased anxiety and even begin to doubt that there's any real purpose for life at all. Some completely fall away from their faith and their religion. Others just, you know, create a, a suicide plan for their future. These individuals are really wrestling with life because they can't understand why it's the way it is. Nothing is fair. Everything's, um, you know, everything is dominated by, you know, people who have money and people who have power and nothing is fair. And why is there poverty? And why do I have to hurt? And why did my child come into this world sick and ill? And, you know, and it just goes on and on and on. Okay. So existential discomfort. I'll talk more about that as we move along over the next three to four weeks. The next one is passive or direct suicidal ideation right passive suicidal thoughts would be something like I wonder what would, what my family would think if I died or I wonder how this world would be um, if I died would it miss me or I wonder what heaven's like that's a passive suicidal ideation a direct suicidal ideation is I'm gonna kill myself tomorrow at five o'clock with a gun completely direct right that's the kind of thing where you're like okay I'm calling crisis because this is a serious situation okay the next one is difficult relationships. People who have dealt with trauma are going to have difficult relationships for a variety of reasons. And we'll get into more of this as we move on. But I do want to touch on it really briefly that difficult relationships often result from fear, right? If you've been in a traumatic situation, of course, you don't want to go back into a situation where you might be trapped, you might be abused, you might be abandoned, you might be mistreated, right? A lot of people with traumatic history struggle with trust and and bonding with other people. They also struggle with fight or flight mode every time someone gets close to them or wants to touch them or marry them or hug them right they deal with a lot right if you can think of the body from from um from to from the toes all the way up to the top of your head kind of like feeling with tension and just all of these negative em emotions that's what somebody who has experienced trauma goes through it's like a full body experience of traumatic stress and it comes on just like that sometimes and last but not least a lot of individuals who have dealt with trauma, sometimes when they don't know how else to deal with it, they push through life with brute force, right? Get me through this. Or, you know, they're just like, I'm gonna get through this no matter what, you know? And that turns out to create even more stress and even more traumatic stress because when you're pushing through life and you're trying to get through and nothing's working, what are you doing? You're discouraging yourself, you're tiring yourself, you're exhausting yourself, you're making yourself depressed and anxious and you get your hopes up only to be let down, right? So there's a lot here that we need to actually inspect and talk about and we're gonna do that in the next video. All right, guys, thanks so much for being with me today. I encourage you to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you. Hit the subscribe button if you want to stay tuned with me over the next month and a half because we're going to be talking about this a little bit more and breaking concepts down. So let me know what you think of this in the comment section, and I will be talking to you really soon. Bye, guys.